The Dighton Rehoboth girls field hockey team chose to forfeit a game instead of playing that game against a girls team that includes a boy. This comes after a player on the Dighton Rehoboth team had her teeth knocked out by a boy who was playing on the Swampscott team last year. NBC 10's Melody Mendez reports. When you mix males into a traditional female sport, um, the, the risk of the severity of the injury is much greater. Safety. That is the reason the superintendent of Dighton Rehoboth says his district has decided to forfeit a girls field hockey game. The game was set for September 17th against Somerset Berkeley. Dighton Rehoboth deciding to forfeit because they say there is a boy on the opposing team. A decision they say they didn't take lightly. It may even potentially impact our chances for qualifying for the playoffs. Um, but there are times that we have to choose safety over victory. It's the first time the district is using a new athletic policy, just passed by the school committee earlier this year. It allows players and coaches to opt out of games if there are members of the opposite sex on the opposing team. They made that decision after an incident last fall when a female student athlete was seriously injured by a male athlete during a field hockey game against Swampscott. The move has spurred conversation. And what do you say to someone who might look at this policy and say, this is unfair? I, I think someone who... Um might categorize this policy as unfair um, is not seeing the, the safety concerns that we have. People who live in the district have mixed opinions. It's a good policy. If it's going to stop the girls from getting hurt. I don't think they should be canceled. Taking the boy out out of that team, if that's what it takes, then they should do that. A boys team was playing another boys team and there was a girl on that opposing team. Could this also apply in that circumstance? Yes. Yep. The superintendent says he hopes his district's policy might spark change in high school sports across the state. It's incumbent upon the state to start looking at the level of interest for, um, for males who want to participate in field hockey and provide them with a same-sex opportunity. Melody Mendez, NBC10, Boston.